Hi guys. Well, let's see how much trouble uh, this one can get me into with uh, perhaps my two favorite people on the planet. Uh, here on, what is it? We are now at a Tuesday, January 23rd, uh, 2024. And, uh, so, last night I had the great pleasure of, of, of having conversations with, as, as I say, two, two very intelligent, college-educated, aware, articulate women uh, who I love dearly. Uh, obviously, these two women are not clueless morons. Uh, okay, I, I mean, no way claiming that. Uh, let's get, get, get this straight. And so, in my first conversation with, with, with one of my uh, favorite women on the planet, <clears throat> she's one of these uh, anti vaxxers. And for the record, anyone who knows me knows I am not vaxxed, never will get vaxxed, for the simple reason I have never seen one iota of evidence that it is in my best interest to get vaxxed for corona panic or anything else. So anyway, so she knows that she's talking to someone who is not vaccinated, never will get vaccinated, although I am not an anti-vaxxer. And she starts off into her anti-vax tirade, I, 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 I don't know, just going on and in my typical male fashion, I, I, I just broke her off and, and, and said, darling, all I'm hearing is noise, is the word I, I, I thought was a, a softer term than, the, than what I was hearing. I, I, I said, everything out of your mouth, it's fucking noise to me. The, the, this anti-vaxxer shit is every bit as much noise as these corona panic uh, fear strangled sheeple. Uh, anti-vaxxers are operating out of fear, just like these fear-strangled sheeple uh, talking about corona panic all, all, all the goddamn time. And so she was determined she was, she had a video. She, she had a 30-minute video that she was going to send me a 30-minute video. And I said, darling, just save your, your fucking fingertips. I have no interest in listening to one word of your 30-minute video. Zero interest in it. And uh, I am proud to say that she uh, did not send me the 30-minute video. So, darling, I really appreciate you not sending me the 30-minute video. <clears throat> and so then, a couple of hours later, I'm talking to uh, a, a, another woman in my life who shall remain nameless, who I, uh, who I love dearly. And we're going on and on in this kind of out of nowhere this, uh, she mentioned <clears throat> how the moon was ar is artificial, that it, you, you know, that it's not natural, that it was apparently built by some, by, by somebody, uh, built the moon and placed it in the Earth's orbit. You know, I, I've heard this unadulterated horseshit. Uh, it was in the Handbook for the New Paradigm, you, you know, which I've mentioned that book, you, you know, supposedly uh, written by the space aliens, I guess maybe the space aliens who built the damn moon. 
And so uh, I, the tack I chose with her was just to deflect it and, and, and make no comment. You know, just go on to another subject. I took that tack and then I get up this morning and, and find she was unable to restrain herself uh, unlike my other anti-vaxxer friend, uh, th this woman uh, was unable to restrain herself and sent me this, uh, this essay from a self-proclaimed fiction writer <clears throat> on Medium.com. She read something on Medium.com, which was all the evidence she needed to read to oh, completely counteract how many hundreds, if not thousands of years of science. Uh, anyway, uh, I made it as far uh, into it, uh, I made it about four paragraphs until the name David Icke, I-C-K-E, appeared. Whenever I see the, the, the name David Icke, or however you pronounce his name, I can't remember, I immediately stop attending to it. Uh, so I made it that far, and so... <clears throat> You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking how to respond to, uh, to, to, to both of these women who I do love dearly, and I'm assuming uh, our friendship is strong enough to survive this, but I'm going to let my hero, Terrence McKenna, uh, explain something to, uh, to my two friends here. Uh, I, I was going to play this in my Terrence McKenna mashup that I ran a couple of nights ago, but it was simply too long, and I'm really sorry that whoever loaded this put this awful music track over it, which covers up some of what he's saying but try to ignore this awful, awful music track. Uh, and we're going to let Terrence McKenna uh, explain to you how you should react when confronted by an anti-vaxxer or, on the flip side, a, a, a corona pussy, uh, or someone claiming the moon uh, was created by space aliens. Let Terrence McKenna it, it explain to you, and this was Terrence uh, probably from about 30 years ago, uh, talking about the death of rational discourse. Take it away. Terrence McKenna, what do you think about the moon being made by space aliens? Take it away, Terrence. And what is relativism? It's the idea that there is no distinction between shit and shinola. That all ideas are somehow operating on equal footing. So one person is a chaos theorist, another is uh, a follower of the revelations of this or that new age guru, someone else is channeling information from the Pleiades, and we have been taught that political correctness demands that we treat all these things with equal weight. Because we have no mathematical ability, no logical ability, we don't know how to ask the questions that expose some positions as preposterous, trivial, insulting to the intelligence, and unworthy of repetition. So uh, we all are very comfortable bashing science 
mass and flailing away at that. But that isn't our enemy. Science is capable of undertaking its own reformation and critique and has been engaged in that fairly vigorously for some time. Uh, the enemy that will really subvert the enterprise of building a world based on clarity is the belief that we cannot point out the pernicious forms of idiocy that flourish in our own community. And this problem is going, growing worse all the time. I mean, just pick up a copy of Magical Blend or Shaman's Drum, and you will discover an appeal to the level of intellect that makes what's going on with television advertising look like a meeting at the Princeton Institute of Advanced Study. McKenna for uh, explaining uh, that, uh, you know, Terrence can articulate my feelings so much better than, than, uh, than I can, and I think that both of these ladies are fans of Terrence McKenna. Now, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, you do understand that Terrence McKenna uh, was not exactly free of, uh, of blind spots himself. Uh, we won't go into that. Uh, you know, we, we all have blind spots. Okay, you, you know, I've been, for 22 years, uh, I was uh, tortured by interdimensional uh, aliens for lack of a better word, uh, that flew in on, on DMT leaking out of my pineal gland. Now, maybe Terrence might be all right with that, but I wonder what uh, Terrence McKenna would say to if I told him that. Uh, so anyway, uh, I honestly believe that. 
Uh, I do not believe that the moon is made of green cheese. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, you know, it's it just you you just have to make your choices when choosing your friends. Uh, now, now, of course, I would say anyone following any organized religion is, is every bit as guilty or guiltier uh, than uh, any you know anything that either one of my friends are guilty of. So, uh, so how many people does that leave? Any Christian, any Jew, any uh, Muslim, any any uh, body who believes in any sort of sky god uh, is every bit as clueless. So what are you going to do? Are are you just going to uh, to when somebody? says something that you consider to be absolute, unadulterated horseshit, what are your choices? You, you can get in an argument with them, which will lead nowhere. Uh, you can... Uh, uh, or, you, you know, just let them have their say and just change the subject. Uh, but I consider, uh, I, I love my wacky friends. I, I mean, there, there, there's nothing more boring uh, than, than somebody who doesn't have any wacky ideas. So, uh, <laughs> get out there and enjoy your unadulterated horseshit wacky ideas while you still can. Uh, as long as the wacky idea that you can have growth, uh, that you can have infinite growth on a finite planet is the number one uh, idea uh, on this planet, anything else pales by comparison. Uh, as long as you understand that you cannot have infinite growth on a finite planet, uh, keep thinking that fucking interdimensional space aliens riding in on the DMT leaking out of your pineal gland uh, are attacking you in the middle of the night. Uh... <laughs> anyway, for the two... Uh... The two ladies listening to this, you know I love you, darlings. And anyway, I have got to get back to sanding boards <clears throat> while I still can. My gosh.